We've been in business almost three months now. Everything's going well. The staff is definitely a tight little nucleus. We're like our own little family. We have team luncheons. We go and talk. We collaborate. We have meetings. Um, our speed has definitely gotten amazing. We're in here at 4.30 in the morning. Then we're out the door, usually around 10 o'clock, 11, to on the road delivering to stores so people can get that lunch kind of rush. We're excited because we're going to roll out seven new menu items in the future, so we're going to have a four-week rotation. So our plan is to continue to grow that and then also just really, you know, push towards this next level of fitness, this next level of how we eat, how we're supposed to live, and also just having fun with what we're doing. Seeing people send pictures about them of themselves, seeing people tell me how much they've lost, seeing people tell me that, oh, Chef Jay's keeping me right, or I'm able to cut this weight, or I'm having great post-workouts, my gains are amazing, or I'm able to sustain myself for shows, I'm doing well on my weight loss journey, because people have done challenges where they've done seven weeks to where they can literally just eat nothing but favorite public foods and see what the progression is in terms of their bodies, their weight scale, and how they're changing, and how they evolve. And I think that's our next big move, is to have our own challenge, a favorite public challenge, to where we see who can really cut the most weight in a certain amount of time while eating our food and using the supplements that Fit Republic sells. I think that's the biggest reward, seeing people evolve just off of one plate, seeing them change after what they eat. That's, that, that to me feels like it's a process, and even myself, I mean, I'm down, you know, 15 pounds just from the three months of working here and eating properly, learning about macros and learning how to eat sustainably just so you can survive a little bit longer. My name is Trevor Schneid. Uh, a lot of my life has been uh, revolved in anything but fitness. I grew up playing video games, eating junk food, and just spending a lot of time inside. Um, obesity's kind of always been around me, and I just kind of accepted it. I took a long, hard look at where my life was and, and how unhealthy I was, and if I continued down that road, that I might not be around for very long. After being uh, 326 pounds and just dragging myself through the day, struggling to get upstairs, um, it's been a huge change for me to, you know, to lose the weight and gain some muscle and have some confidence. It really excites me to be able to tell them that I was so overweight and I've changed my life because then it gives people this hope like, you know, if this guy can do it, this person who's in front of me, why can't I? And then I get to show them that I really care and that I'm here to, you know, follow through with helping them achieve their goals as well. Change isn't about, you know, one month at a time, a year at a time, six months at a time. It's not even a day at a time. Change is, is literally what you can do hour by hour to achieve your goal. This is really why I wanted to work for Fit Republic. Uh, they want to help people change their lives. They want everyone to come through the door with a goal in mind and something they're trying to achieve and make that change to progress their life forward, whether it's through nutrition or supplementation. Uh, we just want to educate them, empower them to push through what they're doing, remind them that every day they're making that effort towards that change. It's just fun being able to live my life knowing that what I'm doing can benefit others. I teamed up with Dave Gordon today from uh, South Aurora CrossFit to bring some education to some uh, high schoolers here at Smoky Hill High School. Uh, one of the big things that we did is we wanted to show a video of the JFK when he implemented fitness into the high schools in America about 50 years ago. And since then it's really declined in where we're at today. For young men to achieve difficult physical feats if they're motivated in the right direction. I hope and we have seen astonishing results. We're actually a much more fit uh, nation then than we are now. Uh, so we showed them that video, went over more details of what are good foods we eat, what are bad foods, and why food is so important. Well, they'll produce products that make them more money. That means preservatives, that means chemicals, that means anything to keep their food lasting longer.
vegetables and good fat. Don't be afraid of fat. It's really easy for us to understand and know how to eat healthy. And then got them moving with some burpees, two minutes of burpees, to, so they can feel and understand how, what a, maybe a, somewhat of a hard workout might be. Just keep moving! I also believe that uh, fitness really helps you in every aspect of your life. So as you're doing some hard workout or something challenging in fitness, that's, it helps a lot with psychologically not giving up during those moments, which you now can apply to the rest of your life. When anything is hard and challenging, you can remember that how you felt during that moment of wanting to quit and wanting to give up, but you didn't and you pushed through and you persevered and you accomplished something that you didn't think you could accomplish. Those are very good life goals and life lessons that I really wanted to show the kids that they can take that goal and that lesson and apply that to the rest of their life. I just want to give back the knowledge and education that I have, try to set up our youth for more success with their life and health and fitness and their future. And if you're watching this video and um, you're a PE teacher, any kind of youth, and you'd love for us to come and, and give a presentation about fitness and health and, and nutrition, we would love to come and give back. It's 100% free. We do this just to give back to the community and try to educate the community better. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Stay tuned for more vlogs and what we're doing in the community. <laughs> Show off. <laughs>